Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Last day of Heartland Week, and I thought I would talk. Actually, second last day, what am I thinking? It's, I thought I'd talk about Ty and Amy just because it kind of what happened in season 14, but. So I thought I would do a Ty and Amy explained video for you guys. Which, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm going to get into. If you haven't seen the show, or you're just starting out from the show, spoilers, and this might get you into the show, you never know. So, we first meet Ty and Amy, first episode of season one. Amy is kind of making her Ty comes there. Um, and I knew this was going to be a relationship from the start because I've seen so many Hallmark movies. My mom loves them, so, yeah. Anyway, they do become really good friends, and Ty tries to make one of friends but a few times. They only kind of come that way at the end, but then Ty fends off. Um, and in season two, Amy has kind of, you know, anger tie for that. Um, and eventually do become friends, but things are just a little rocky between them. Um, and then finally the last episode, we do see them become more than friends. Finally. It's really good and it's, yeah. And then season three, we get into them actually starting to date. Of course, there's that whole plane accident. And they do get into fight at the end of the season, so they do have some rocky stuff in there. Then we get to season four, where the tenth episode, so more than halfway through the series, they break up because of this whole Amy Chase Ty Blair thing. I'm not going to get into that. That may be another whole video, but I'm not going to get into that. Eventually finding their way back together in season four. Now, of course, this breakup, it wasn't, it was a whole misunderstanding. They could have worked that out, but they just decided not to, and it's very frustrating and angry. It, and for some reason, it's my favorite episode. I don't know why, but it is. Of course, season five, they're back to starting to pick up the pieces from their relationship when they break up before and work things out again. And Ty moves into his own place in the trailer. And of course Ty gets into his motorcycle accident and almost proposes to Amy last episode of the season, but he doesn't. And then season six we get into that whole engagement stuff and it's kind of really awkward and really works for Ty and Amy because Amy ends up finding the thing that Georgie took and they kind of get into a conversation about it and it actually takes them nine episodes to get engaged. And it's a little, yeah. But then they have a really long engagement after that because for season seven they're engaged. And they probably would have got married around the end of season seven, but then Amy decides to go off to Europe, so they postpone another year. And then in episode four of season eight, they have a whole another repeat of season four, except this time they really did need it. They were still kind of under all that pressure from season seven, you know, Amy's accident and decide what they want together as a soon to be married couple and for themselves. They were kind of still going off the pressure of that. So the break they took in season eight, they needed that. And it is sad they took it either. They almost cried, but I am very glad they did take that episode that break. For six episodes, which is like a few months I guess. And then we get into them. They don't get made to the last episode of the season after some more drama stuff with Jesse Stanton. And then we get into season nine where we get married life pretty much. Find out that they're expecting a child at the end of that season. Season ten, they have that whole Thai and Mongolia thing. And uh, let's be honest, that's an, it's a good good season, but it doesn't it's not the same without Thai. And then we get to season 11, which they're becoming a family and still trying to focus on both their careers, which, I mean, may be a little hard thing, I don't know. And then we get to season 12, where they decide to work together. So Ty gets his job at the clinic and they start working together. Season 13, we get more of the same. But Tiny Mir also having a bit of money problems and a kind of... A um, little less stressed than they were in season 12, but yeah, a little <laughs> stressed. 
dress, and then we get that whole thing with our Shaw and Ty saves his life, and then we come to finally season 14, where Ty dies from his injuries. Very sad, and we do see, and Amy does explain a lot, she says that Ty was her soulmate, which he was. Those two were so perfect for each other. Oh, and it's, it's sad to know that some of our favorite, our favorite character, one of everyone's favorite characters will no longer be on the show. But we do see that Amy still is trying to raise Lindy and move on with her life. So that is a good thing. But I will say, if they do set up Amy with, like, Sam or that other guy, whatever his name was, Craig, I think. I could be wrong, I don't think it's Craig, it's something else. I will be very angry because... Ty and Amy perfect for each other. Amy and other relationship. They do that too many times in TV shows. I don't want that. So, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I kind of summed up Ty and Amy's relationship in under 10 minutes. Um, so, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be talking about Lou and Amy. Alright, see you.